want to show you how easy it is to go from a site that looks like this with nothing on it, there's nothing in it, to a site that looks like this that is fully loaded with content, contact forms, and very niche specific information, a map, and videos. So we'll go back to this site and log in. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is upload a plugin. We choose file, upload it, install, activate the plugin. ThemeJack installer plugin is activated, so we go down to ThemeJack installer, and I want the drag and drop version, and click submit. Okay, theme installed successfully, and then I come up to the top, ThemeJack biz, over the flyout window, and down and click on license and I'll enter my license email address and verify. License saved successfully. Now we go to just above license and click on niche websites. Since the domain is about electrician, I'll look for electrician. And I just type the first three or four letters of the niche theme that I'm looking for. So I just go ahead and select the niche and click import theme. And what this is telling me is that if I have things on the site that I want to save, I should click yes. If there is nothing on the site that I need to save, I click no. Okay, niche imported successfully. Let's go and take a peek. So here we are with our site. There are a very few things that you really need to edit when you set up your site. You can keep the same favicon. You have the option of choosing between one of five home pages for many of the themes. My preference is for home page two, so that's what I'm going to set. And we'll take a look at home page two. Home page two has a very large slider. Okay, and you can add, edit all of your social media if you wish. If you want to use the social media icons, they are right up here. And you can add more. You can delete any that you don't need or want. And the next is contact. So you're going to want to put your business email, your phone number, and your company name. And here is your domain name. So when you've got that, you save your changes. And you'll notice all these tokens here. They can be used anywhere throughout the site. And we'll add our address and save the changes. If you have a business or custom header that you want to use, you can change it here. And all you do is look down the list here and see which is the active home page. And come and edit. And here's where your social links live. Tagline. You can come down and edit all the details. Here, there's text settings, color settings. You can change your company logo here if you wish. And here's your Call Us Now button and your footer. And we'll go and take the active home page and edit. You can edit all the details in the, in the footer. And that's all this information here. See the Contact Us will already have your details in it. I'm going to add a map. And you see that it's already populated with the address. I'll save this. There's the address. Save. And again, you can edit the details in the service area, the footer links. It uses the token for company name and address and you can edit any of the information that you wish. And when you're finished, you'll save settings and we will refresh the screen. And here's our map and all of our footer information. Okay, one more thing I want to show you. It can actually be inserted on any page anywhere in the site and it was designed for home page five. So I'm going to set home page five, then go to pages. Here's home page five, and it's got this big blank space. So let's go to home page five. It shows it set as the front page. Click on edit, and I'm going to add a module. And here's module enterprise video. Okay, module name. 
and you can add a starting or an ending thumbnail and you can show it on all devices or specific devices and click save and then update and preview changes and here is my beautiful niche specific video and that about sums up what you need to do to set up a business website it's fast and easy you can go through and edit any of the information on any of the pages that you want to and you can also just leave it as is you've got the most important details you've got a phone number for someone to call you you have a contact form for someone to fill out information and let you know that they want to get in touch with you and that about wraps this up